John here from MikeModKits.com and I thought I would make a quick video on how to open up one of these. This is an MXL 991. Uh, it's the exact same mic uh, as the MXL 603, 603S, uh, CR24P, 441, uh, 551, the CAD GXL 1200, the Nady CM90, and dozens of other makes and models. They're all the same microphone, they share the same circuit, and the same basic build. There's some slight variations sometime with the, uh, with the venting up here around the capsule and that sort of thing, but fundamentally they're the same microphone. So, I thought I would tell you uh, one common thing that we hear from people is they have a hard time figuring out how to open up one of these things to see if our mod kit uh, will work for their microphone. And the trick to this is uh, there are, on most of these, uh, there are three screws down here around the XLR socket. And the tricky part is, in order to disassemble the mic, instead of uh, loosening those screws, you have to actually tighten the screws to turn them in. Once you've turned them in far enough, you can pull on the, uh, on the XLR socket, uh, you can, or you can pull on the base that surrounds the XLR socket, and it'll pull free from the rest of the body of the microphone here. So the trick is, uh, you know, a lot of people try to loosen these, and they end up actually stripping uh, the screws out. And so what you're going to need is you're going to need a precision screwdriver that's smaller than the one I have here. This one's slightly too large. So let me grab a smaller screwdriver real quick. Okay, and I'm back with a smaller screwdriver. So all that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these screws... Uh, I'm going to turn them clockwise. You would normally expect to turn them counterclockwise to loosen the screws, but you're actually not loosening them. You're tightening them and turning them in, and once you've done that on all three of those screws, then you should just be able to see it just popped right out. You should just be able to pull, uh, pull the microphone clear of the body, uh, holding it by the XLR socket down here. And then you should be able to get a look at the microphone circuit. And our, my, our uh, mod kits at MikeModKits.com, they only work uh, with microphones that use through-hole components. They don't work with SMT or surface mount technology. Uh, and many of the newer models uh, use SMT uh, capacitor, so you'll, you'll want to be sure and open yours up to be sure it uses through-hole components. And what I mean by through-hole component is simply this. Uh, I'll just take out one of these uh, capacitors so I can show you. A through-hole component is uh, one that has leads or wires uh, sticking out from it like this. Hopefully you can see this. I need something as a backdrop here to help it more. Yeah, you can see the wires of the leads there sticking out from the capacitor. Uh, and what you do is um, you're going to desolder uh, the old um, connections for the old capacitors and remove those. Then you're going to uh, insert the leads or the wires for the new capacitors through the circuit board and you're going to uh, resolder those in place. So you have to be sure uh, that your microphone uses through-hole components that have little wire leads that poke through the board uh, in, in order to ensure that your mic is compatible. Uh, SMT uh, capacitors do not have wire leads that poke through the board like this. They just actually, uh, there are little solder pads on one side of the board and uh, the capacitor and its uh, it's actually soldered to that side instead of actually poking through holes in the board. So that's the big difference. But hopefully that'll help somebody. Um, I've gotten a lot of emails from folks who have accidentally stripped those screws uh, on these microphones whenever they have tried to disassemble it uh, to see if their mic will be compatible with one of our uh, mod kits. I I'll mention this, I have seen 
uh, a handful of mics over the years of these that instead of having the screws like this one, uh, they actually have a threaded, uh, the, the base here just above, uh, well basically just exactly where these screws are, it's actually threaded there. And instead of having, and you'll you'll notice this, uh, there won't be any screw holes if you have this type of microphone. But basically, uh, to assemble the mic, you put the body on, and the body just screws down on top of the base, and it just uh, the inside of the body right here on this end is also threaded, and the threads just go together, and you just screw. You know, you that's how you assemble or disassemble the mic is by simply gripping the base and then turning the body. And so you, you either have a threaded base or you have these screws. Uh, so whichever one you have, it uh, should be fairly easy to uh, take your mic apart and check it out and see if one of our mod kits will work for your mic. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.